let's talk about player now. Player has, well, of course they have a hand of cards and they have a name. So that's the original two that the player had in Crazy Aids. But now they have money and bet. Here's the constructor that takes a string and an integer and it sets name to name hand creates a new hand now this new hand will have zero cards in it you fill that up later in the i think it's called the deal method you do set this money equal to initial money whatever they've entered here in the constructor i put 100 in now we're just creating the player we're not taking a bet yet so i have an initial bet value of just negative one uh, this shouldn't ever really get used but i just wanted to put a negative value in there just in case. What we're looking at here is a second constructor. How do I know it's like a second constructor? Well, it's public, it has the name of the class, but this one only takes a string. It doesn't take an integer for the initial money. And what do I do? I do something a little tricky. So I'm putting the cursor over this. Now normally this refers to this object itself and we would normally do this dot uh, fields, this dot bet, this dot money, this dot hand, this dot name, and it'd be referring to these up here, the fields. When you do this with a parenthesis, it's gonna call the player constructor, the constructor for this object, and it's gonna call the constructor that has a string and an integer. Well, good news, we have that constructor. And if you put your cursor over this, you'll see that it highlights player right there. All right, we're gonna look through the rest of player. I've covered up the methods I don't want you to see the details on. Uh, don't worry about can split, we're not writing split. If you really wanna write split, you definitely can, uh, but you, you, most of you won't need it. So don't worry about splitting. All right, get money returns money, very straightforward. Set bet, this just sets the bet to whatever integer value they type in, or, or is sent here. Which means we're gonna have to be very careful because I have no checking going on. Bet could be negative, could be a billion, uh, or any number. So you want to make sure if, if you don't do any checking in the set bet method, you have to make sure that this amount is between minimum bet and money. So we're gonna do that uh, in the get bet method, which we'll go to in a minute. Uh, if you're doubling down, you're gonna to need to double your bet method. Here's get hand. You can probably guess what that is gonna do. It's gonna return the hand. Get name returns the name. Whenever you see three lines, that refers to like three lines. That includes this as one of the lines, and then there's two more. So when you see three lines on get name, it looks basically exactly like uh, get money, except it just returns name. Get total is a little more tricky. Mine says only three lines, but I recommend you do the get total here in the player. And what get total is, it goes through the hand and adds up the value of each card. Aces are tricky, uh, so for starters, just count an ace as a one. Uh, you don't need to write the special rules for blackjack, but basically if you have a blackjack, um, I just realized it flashes the code up when I put the mouse over that, but if you have blackjack, you get one, oh, you get an extra half of your bet back. So normally you would get double your bet, but if you have blackjack, you get 2.5 times your bet. All right, display, I just used the display method that hand already had to show the cards. Two string, uh, I have this returns all of the values, all of the four fields, name, bet, money, and the card total, and then the actual hand. So here's the get card total right there. Uh, and this one is a little different than the get total. Get total returns an integer. For me, I wanted a method that gets me the card total and the cards. So I can see the number they add up to and also the cards themselves. Uh, display scores displays how the player's doing. 
Here's the dealer display top card where I don't want to show the entire dealer's hand, only one card from it. So it's similar to the two string, except the dealer doesn't have bet and money. So it'll give name. You can't actually do the card total. So I just basically wrote, just to de describe the card that they're showing. Here's the lose bet, win bet. Here's the win bet blackjack and the tie bet. They have a few extra lines in there. I just use this bet display as a helper method. It's, I think, the only method that's private in here. Okay, so that's a quick tour of player. And this player should be basically fully functional once you've written the methods that I have collapsed. Uh, it shouldn't be much more to it. Uh, the get total is a little tricky. So I may talk a little bit more about that. So let's go ahead and test this out. 